When your antidepressant isn't working, you may want to consider using the thyroid hormone to augment your treatment. That was Dr. Rena Kupa from the Hebrew University Hadassah Medical School in Jerusalem and my guest today on ShrinkPod. From the campus of New York Medical College and the Behavioral Health Center at Westchester Medical Center in Valhalla, New York, I'm Dr. Michael Blumenfield, professor of psychiatry, and this is ShrinkPod. This podcast will bring to you information, commentary, and interviews with experts on topics in mental health and psychiatry. You can subscribe to receive this podcast on a regular basis, and your comments and suggestions are always welcome. My email address is shrinkpod at aol.com. And now for today's program. This week at New York Medical College, we have a special guest, a visiting professor, the Sidney E. Frank Visiting Professor of Psychiatry from Hadassah University, from actually Hebrew, Hebrew University Hadassah Medical School in Jerusalem, and that is Dr. Rena Cooper. Welcome, Dr. Cooper, to ShrinkPod. Thank you very much, Michael. Dr. Cooper is on the faculty of Hebrew University Hadassah Medical School, and she is director of the outpatient department there, and she has a special interest in treatment of depression with augmentation of thyroid hormone when it's indicated, and that's going to be the topic of today's discussion. Uh, Dr. Cooper, can we start off by describing the role of thyroid hormone in generally in human functioning? Sure. The thyroid hormone is a very basic hormone in the body, and it's basically responsible for the whole metabolism of the body, uh, starting from the brain, the tissues, the heart, uh, growth in uh, adolescents and in children. Um, all the metabolism in the body is, is, is regulated with the thyroid hormone. And what is the role of thyroid hormone in psychi psychiatric conditions, particularly in mood? We know several uh, manifestations of thyroid dysfunction in, uh, uh, in psychiatry. Patients who are suffering from hypothyroidism, that is a low thyroid function, can manifest it with cognitive deficit, de dementia, depression, psychosis. And p patients suffering from hyperthyroidism, the overactive thyroid, will, can suffer from anxiety, uh, mania, and other symptoms. I recall in medical school when we studied the thyroid gland and psychiatric problems that we were told about the term myxedema madness, which was uh, related to when patients with low thyroid had uh, edema and also psychosis. Uh, do, do we see, do you see much of that uh, condition? Well, fortunately, uh, hypothyroidism is uh, detected usually before p patients reach that uh, very severe uh, uh, manifestation. Myxedema madness is when patients have such a high uh, uh, TSH uh, count where an indication of hypothyroidism that they are, they can reach an, the level of the coma. I think today medicine will detect most of the patients a lot before that. But yes, if patients reach a very high level of hypofunction of their thyroid, they can definitely have a lot of uh, uh, symptoms. Now, in the course of treating depression, most psychiatrists will when, when we see a patient for the first time who, who comes to us for depression, we'll check their thyroid functioning. And, and um, why, do we, why do we do that? Well, rightfully so, because there is, there is a high correlation between depression and hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism is quite common, especially among women, and so is depression. Therefore, if, uh, and it's quite an easy uh, uh, test to um, uh, administer to patients, so uh, if we can rule out a medical cause of depression and treatable cause of depression, well, that, that would be one of our aims in, uh, in uh, practice. So then what led you and other researchers begin to consider mm -hmm. that maybe thyroid replacement hormone might be useful in the treatment of depression? Well, I'll tell you, we picked up from uh, previous studies uh, conducted in the uh, late 70s and 60s and 70s of the, of, uh, the 20th century. And uh, what happened is that we're, uh, when we treat depression, 
you've probably uh, encountered that problem also. We we don't seem to be able to to induce the, the remission that we really we really want to induce in our patients. We don't. It's no longer acceptable to uh, um, make do with response with a certain reduction of symptoms. We want to achieve remission, and uh, unfortunately, even the newer antidepressants are not doing always doing the job. And so we need augmenters. We need anything that can augment the treatment and. T3, uh, that's a thyroid hormone, the active thyroid hormone was uh, um, studied in the past. Uh, it was studied mainly with the uh, older tricyclic antidepressants. And so we figured we should uh, see what's happening with, what, what would happen with the thyroid augmentation with the newer antidepressants, the more prevalent antidepressants, the SSRIs.